This video will be going through the HHS registration guide in order to assist you in selecting the best courses to fit your graduation requirements as well as your personal interests. You should have received a copy of the 2022 to 2023 Hilo High School registration guide. We will go through this guide and highlight specific information. General information is provided on pages 2 and 5. Page 1. Notice of language assistance. Page 2. Principal's message, scheduling of courses, completing your selection, and table of contents. Page 3. General info. Grade level promotion, graduation slash commencement exercises, and PTP. Page 4. Hilo High Student Activities slash Community Development and Civic Engagement List of Clubs and Community Service slash Career Internship Programs Page 5, Graduation Requirements As you pick your courses, especially your electives, please keep the schedule change policy on page 6 in mind. It states, one of Hilo High's learner outcomes is that the students will act as responsible citizens in the community, state, nation, and global society. With this in mind, students should make careful, thoughtful decisions during registration. In order to maximize classroom learning and minimize disruptions, students and parents should be aware that schedule changes may be made for the following reasons. Incomplete schedule, credit previously received for the course, incorrect level placement, course required for graduation, scheduling error, same course on the schedule, IEP slash MP team decision, or extenuating circumstances. Schedule changes are allowed during the first two weeks after the start of the first semester. Requests for changes to the second semester schedules may be submitted during the first two weeks before and two weeks after the start of the second semester. Once a schedule change period has passed, changes can be made only by administrative approval. The following will apply. If a class change is approved after 50% of the class is completed, the student can only be placed in school service. When a change is made within the same content area, the drop teacher will send the exit grade to the add teacher. No schedule changes will be processed in the fourth quarter. Still uncertain about course selection? Maybe the table at the bottom of page 6 can help. It recommends the sequence of courses required for graduation that majority of HHS students follow. On page 11, there is information on the various programs that offer dual credit options. These are classes that a student can gain high school credit as well as college credit. Be aware that there may be a cost to some of these programs. In order to see which program fits you, refer to the comparison chart at the bottom. Please see your counselor or Ms. Kelly Frias for more information. On page 8, you will find a table that lists the various courses that fall under specific CTE pathways. The rest of the guide, pages 10 to 32, gives the descriptions of all of the courses that may be offered for the next school year. Please read the descriptions carefully and recall the elective sessions you attended. Do not choose a course that you may not be interested in just because your friend is taking the course. Not liking the course or teacher is not a reason for changing classes. Planning to play sports in college? Preparing to play at the collegiate level starts not only on the field or court, it also involves your academics. Tips on preparing start in your ninth grade year. Don't worry, you can always turn things around and start now. Page 36 is a worksheet to help you plan out your courses for all of your years here at Hilo High. The top portion is a checklist, which is another method of keeping track of your graduation requirements. Of particular interest, the bottom portion is the registration worksheet to list those courses you want to take next year. It is important that you use this as a practice sheet prior to filling out your official registration form. A final note, our courses at Hilo High are created to meet student demand. If you do not turn in your registration form, then your choices will not be known. You will be scheduled into any courses that have space available. This is the time to pick your classes, not next year when you pick up your schedule. Official 2022-2023 Registration Form 1. A digital 2022-2023 registration form will be sent via your K-12 email. 2. If you fail to turn one in, your classes will be chosen for you and you will not be able to change them next school year. 3. Any questions, please see your respective counselor. Good morning, Vikings. Uh, this is Mrs. Rias, and I am here to walk you through using the Google Form registration that you're all going to 
get access to on Monday, December 6th. So some of you are watching this video on Monday, November 29th, and you have received your course catalog, the 2022-2023 Hilo High School course catalog. So at this point, we've had you do several activities related to registration already. So you should have all gotten to take a look at your transcript so that you know which classes you've passed uh, each year that you've been in high school so far, and maybe which classes we haven't passed and we know we need to make up. Going through your transcript along with the graduation requirements is key in you knowing what you need to take for next school year. So if you haven't finished that assignment yet, um, please take the time to do so. And if you have any questions about it at all, please see your counselor or you can come and see me and we can work through it uh, so that you are clear on what you need for next year. Okay, so you also all got to participate in the scramble. Um, last week, Monday. And I hope you got to sit in some sessions that really showed and shared with you information about possible new classes for you for upcoming years. Some of you listened uh, to courses that you're planning to take this coming school year. Others of you might have listened to classes um, that you plan to take, you know, two or three years down the road. So any class that you listened to and gathered good information about. Uh, we're hopeful that you have some time during high school to be able to fit it into your schedule. So I hope you took away as much as you could from the scramble. I'm also hoping that everybody got to um, answer my very quick uh, survey on what you thought about the scramble because we want to do things that actually benefit you, yeah? So your feedback, student feedback is the most important to me. Okay, so right now on the screen, you are looking at one of uh, the course registration forms uh, for next school year. So every class is gonna have their own form because every class kind of has different needs or different requirements in your schedule. So I'm just showing you one example, and I understand that yours may look a little bit different, but uh, the basic instruction for completing it is all the same. First and foremost, please read. Read everything thoroughly before you answer the question or before you put down your selection. Um, reading the registration guide and the descriptions in there, reading each question in this registration form is all key uh, to submitting it accurately. Okay, so we can start at the top. Um, same as last year, we are using this virtual format for course registration. You've gotten the hard copy of your course catalog. Please look through the course catalog and make your choices. So my suggestion is, and you'll see why as we move through this form, is to have a written list. Have a written list of the classes you plan to register for. That way, when you are getting to the different points in this registration form, you can easily find the titles of the courses that you want, okay? So everything with a red star, is a required question, right? So you put in your email address. Um, we would prefer if it's the school one, but if you rather use a personal one, I think it'll take it there. Your last name, your first name, um, your phone number. So not a parent phone number, but your phone number in case we have a question and we could easily just call you and ask. Okay, so each of the course registration forms will have some general courses that are automatic, right? We're registering for you. Um, so you don't have a lot of choice there. But what you'll find is sometimes there are choices in the level of course. For example, if I'm ninth grade going to 10th grade, I may have the option to choose honors English instead of just English 10, yeah? So those are the things that we're hoping you're talking to your teachers about. 
And when there is the option for you to choose honors, or like in this case on the screen that you're seeing here, AP, yeah, advanced placement. Um, when there are those types of choices to be made, we're hoping that you talk to your teachers about which level of course would be best for you and they can hopefully help you uh, to make the best decision. Okay. So another required question, choose your science course. So you would choose, right? And this is a choice to be made after you've passed biology. Yeah. So if you're in 10th grade and you're taking biology now, you'll have science to choose. Now this block here says optional, early college. So some of you got to sit into the early college session, but not everyone. So if you are interested in taking an early college class, check off the box that you think you're interested in taking. And then I will be able to know that you're interested in early college and I can call you in. Um, I'll call you guys in as a group and we can talk about what comes next. And then here, I need to retake these courses. So this is where looking through your transcript um, and going through the graduation requirements is key. Yeah, um, you will type here, I need to retake these courses. So for example, if I failed US history or if I failed algebra one, or you know what I mean? If I failed something that I know I need to make up, I type that in here. Okay, but that's optional because I know that doesn't pertain to all of us. Okay, now here is where we basically tried to list every elective possible all in one section. So the whole registration guide full of electives <laughs> is all listed here. So that's why this list is so huge. But we had to show it all to you. We want you to be able to see it all. So we know you're looking at it in the course catalog. We also know you're looking at it here in this list. So please, again, read and take your time. And instead of just reading and saying, oh, yeah, I want that, write it down, write it on a piece of paper in front of you so that when you get to here, making your elective choices as you scroll, look, I'm scrolling to the side, right? As you scroll and scroll and scroll, keep going, scroll and scroll, you will be able to see um, all the different options. Yeah. So if you have a written list in front of you, then once you hit, bam, foundations of engineering, I want that class. Okay, I can pick it. Right. And then I keep going. My second choice. Oh, I want drawing and painting one. Okay, I'm going to pick that. Right. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, I think I want to try creative dance. Okay, I picked that third choice, right? Keep going, keep going. So you, you get the point, right? It goes on and on and on and on and on, right? So please um, do as much pre-research as possible, right? Go through the guide, um, use the notes that you took from your scramble day, um, know what you're picking before you sit down with this form and pick it. So again, we're going to all have access to start inputting your registration on December 6th. So some of you um, are seeing this video on November 29th and you'll have basically a week uh, to start doing your research. Um, everybody else, I'm gonna try share the video with you um, prior to December 6th as well, um, but we're gonna have to take some time, look through the guide, talk to your parents, talk to your teachers and talk to your counselors um, before you start picking um, your choices, yeah? And then you see down here, it says, please don't select more than one response per column. So basically it's not gonna let me, like right now it might look like it's gonna let me, it, it'll let me pick, First choice, second choice, third choice, fourth choice, and fifth choice, all body conditioning, right? It looks like it's going to let me. But when I go down to submit, it will not, okay? So the key is to pick different courses um, for your different choices and actually rank them in the order you want them, right? So your top choices, which is what we hope to give you, your top choices, please actually put them as number one, number two, and number three, 
right? Put those three classes in that order. But you got to remember, you also need to be able to live with choice number four and choice number five. Uh, if for whatever reason, we're unable to fit your top three choices in, right? We, we might have conflicts. We might be able to not schedule Hawaiian dance, guitar, and whatever else I chose. We might not be able to schedule all of that into your schedule. So we may have to go down to fourth choice and give you intermediate acting instead of something else. Yeah. And fifth choice, foundations of agriculture. Uh, so it, it, these are all just examples. Um, I'm just clicking around, but I want to show you the form before you go in and possibly get overwhelmed with the amount of choices. So please do your work ahead of time so that the form is not overwhelming. Okay. And then one of the options, and some of you might have gone to a session and learned about it, uh, would be rec leadership. So that's um, assisting a PE teacher in one of the underclassmen PE classes. So that could be open to juniors and seniors. And then um, if you want a, a funky combination, like I failed only MHH, and then I want to fill the other half with a PE. You can kind of write it down here and we'll see what works. And then, of course, if you have any questions or comments about what you just tried to submit, um, we would like for you to ask uh, your counselors, your teachers um, prior to submitting. But if you still have a question when you're submitting your form, then please type it here. Um, and Mrs. Mitsuda will pay attention to all questions and comments and try to get back to you and answer those. OK, so this is your registration form. Again, everybody will have access to it from December 6th. We hope that it's re your registration is submitted, that this form is submitted by December 13th. But if you need a little bit more time, uh, we could at least still keep accepting it till the end of the, um, the week, the end of that week, December 17th, your last day of school. Okay, so uh, come see me if you have questions, see your counselors if you have questions. And I look forward to seeing everybody's wonderful um, registration completed and submitted. And we really just want everybody to be happy and successful in your classes for next year. So thank you so much. And we will talk to you soon.